folks, Joseph Vince Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. And I went to see this on Saturday night with my family in theaters, and we had an awesome, speedy, great time. As you may know, it's Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the brand new sequel to the original 2020 film featuring the Blue Spike Hedgehog named Sonic speeding into action, being chased down by an evil mad scientist, Dr. Robotnik, who is of course played by Jim Carrey. He's sending out all the drones and all to attack him and also to steal his rings. Not to mention he be friends with a local sheriff from Green Hill, Montana, Tom Michalski, who's played by James Marsden, joining in with his wife, who's a veterinarian named Maddie, who's played by Tika Sumter. Yeah. This time around, He's now teaming up with just a little kid with gadgets, a golden white fox named Tails, who actually has two tails that can spin around like a helicopter and he can take Sonic around to a new adventure. And this time Dr. Robotnik is back since he's already stuck in the portal with mushrooms ready to get out. He now teams up with a new villain who's a an Hecna and he has superhuman strength he's a warrior named Knuckles so of course they team up to go after Sonic and Tails as they're about to steal the Master Emeralds or the fact that both Sonic and Tails are about to you know protect it as they could Meanwhile, Tom and Maddie wound up on vacation for a wedding of uh, Maddie's sister. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, the last movie had a controversial trailer where they had to fix Sonic's uh, design as we know it because it caused a lot of furiosity from... because it caused the whole fans to, to go on furious... And they wanted to be able to fix it just right so it can stay true to the source material as we know it. But there's sort of a little bias on the story, but it got better as they turn out if they had to see it once or twice, maybe more. And at that rate, we know we were going to get pumped up for the new sequel. And now we're finally going to get a third film that's going to follow up and a spin-off series for Knuckles. So I know the first time we saw Knuckles though was from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 which joins in with Sonic and Knuckles the video game that you had to put together by using the cartridge of all the Sonic games you connect it directly into the Sonic and Knuckles slot on your Sega Genesis and you'll be able to play Knuckles and sometimes you get to play all these other levels from the previous games and you're going to have Knuckles included. So what do you know? <laughs> and that's what we had too when my brother had the Sega Genesis. And we had fun playing that game anytime, anywhere. And I know we, we also watched the cartoon, you know, watched the Saturday morning version and the syndicated versions. And I know I explained this already in my last review of that. But I'm just happy that so far so good it's becoming the seventh highest grossing film of 2022. It's going strong now because I know they had to took a lot of time to film this movie just so it could be perfect enough to be scheduled because you know after the first movie came out it was already the highest grossing film ever. It was very successful and it kept on going until the feeder Feeders around the country were shut down due to COVID-19 pandemic. And yeah, we almost had to wait a year and a half to see movies again, even though there are times when we had to see some alternatives to, to see a movie at a drive-in feeder or maybe a feeder that might be close enough to be open at this point. But because they haven't worked on the vaccine yet, and I know they're trying to keep up with that, and we're, we had to be stuck wearing masks and all, we couldn't be able to leave out. We couldn't leave the house. 
until later on, until we're ready for it. So I know this was hard on us. But nevertheless, though, even though this is going around still, and I know it's going to be over someday, somehow, some way, I don't know. I'm just happy that now we finally got a sequel that we've been waiting for. And it's even better than the original. <laughs> And also, I got the 4K of the first movie, which I got it uh, two years ago, you know, after it was released. And yes, it comes with a comic book, so it's really cool. It does come with a Blu-ray and the digital codes with, with features, so it's really nice. It's in one of my cubicles, so I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, so here we go. It stars Jim Carrey, James Marsden, Tika Sumter. Natasha Watwell, Adam Pauly, Shamar Moore, as you may remember him from the TV show Criminal Minds. Uh, he was also in The Young and the Restless. And also he's now in the new TV series SWAT. Uh, Lee uh, Madob, Tom Butler, and Mentally Nosafo Neiman. So this is for the live action versions. But for the uh, the voice acting that's in CGI animated form, uh, we got Ben Schwartz as Son of the Hedgehog, Colleen O'Shanassi as Miles Tails Prowler, Aris Elba as Knuckles the, the Ichna, and Donna J. Fuchs as Longclaw. Yeah, the brown owl who happened to be Sonic's mentor, as you may saw her at the beginning of the first uh, Sonic. And I know the last time we saw Tails was in the last movie too, which was during the post credit scenes. <laughs> so there you go. It's written by Pat Casey, Josh Miller, John Winton, and it's based of course on the Sonic the Hedgehog video games. And it's directed by Jeff Fowler who also directed the first movie. The movie begins that several months ago in Green Hills, Montana, our blue spike hair hero, who speeds up for action, son of the Hedgehog, voiced by Ben Schwartz, had defeated the mad scientist Dr. Robotnik, played by Jim Carrey, by having to send him directly into the ring portal that goes straight into this big mushroom land well, now he's all alone. He just shaved off his entire head. So now he's particularly bald. But he grew out a big stash. So now he looks exactly at how he was portrayed in the video game and the comics as well. And the cartoon. <laughs> Dr. Egghead. But of course, it's Dr. Robotnik as we speak. And now he's going to come up with his own diabolical plans to defeat Sonic if he escapes. But of course, he's trying to come up with a lot of plans to actually be able to open the ring portal, which then reveals, um, as we speak, um, the anthropomorphic red Echna warrior with superhuman strength named Knuckles, who's voiced by Eris Elba. So he's going to collaborate with him to find the Master Emerald. Meanwhile, Sonic, who just got adopted by Tom and Maddie Wachowski as their son, both played by James Marsden and Tiki Sumter. Yes, Tom, as we all know, he was the sheriff, and still is. Don't it, Lord, <laughs> as he liked to call him. And Maddie is the local veterinarian. So, so I decided just to take some time to help the project by posing himself as a vigilante known as Blue Justice, sort of like Batman as we speak, <laughs> where he's just going to go around, save everybody by a bunch of crooks and bad guys, was they brought to uh, rob an armor truck, and he's about to save them, which at this rate, all the robbers were throwing in all the bombs around in the truck. He tends to get rid of it. But it goes completely wrong where everything just explodes, uh, especially when it goes straight into the sewer. 
Yeah, the manhole tops just keep blowing up. All, all that water was shooting up too. <laughs> then they end up crashing all these uh, beer coals. All the cops were chasing them around. And then they're they're trying to avoid all the, the pedestrians so they don't get hurt. But they end up crashing all these beer coals around the streets until they almost getting ready to crash the ice cream truck that was in their path where he did spot the boy with a two scoop uh, strawberry ice cream cone that he has <laughs> everybody ran away too while well, Sonic decided to uh, take apart the entire truck so that way he'd be able to save the truck driver and the cops will be able to arrest all the crooks and all yeah, and he's already calling them the worst uh, superheroes this week. <laughs> so, of course, um, they reported it uh, through the newspapers, and Tom just found out about it. Well, they went fishing together. Yeah, Sonic was already tired. But he takes an advice to Sonic to remain patient for the day, because his powers will be needed uh, just before him and Maddie are going to go on on a Hawaiian vacation by spending time with Maddie's sister Rachel because she's ready to get married to her fiance which it develops a secret that he's actually a gun agent named Rando who's played by Shamar Moore Rachel of course is played by Natasha Rodwell <laughs> anyway Sonic decided to plan to stay home alone, to have fun, you know, going around watching movies, listening to music, yeah, mostly 90s music and all, <laughs> and just, you know, do whatever he wants, and, like, he just rolls around, you know, creates his own obstacle course, just like in the game, as we speak, and, and he makes a, a huge mess all the way around the living room, <laughs> and so on. Joining in with um, his pal, you know, their dog. Until all of a sudden, Dr. Robotnik had appeared along with Knuckles and attacked him all the way through the entire house. You know, Knuckles is just pulling out some punches against him and all. And then all of a sudden, we meet a two tailed fox, you know, with golden white fur all, all the way around, named Tails known as Miles uh, Power, who's voiced by Colleen Oshinassi. He idolized him and came to warn him about Knuckles. So Sonic convinced Tails to help him find the Master Emerald that they're about to go after so they can steal it. So Robotnik somehow reunites with his assistant Stone, you know, already working at a coffee shop, you know, making all these lattes and all. <laughs> So now they're going to team up to be able to find the Emerald. Well, Sonic and Tails have followed the clues on the map from Sonic's deceased guardian, Longclaw, by going straight into Siberia. And they found a compass in an old temple there. They end up staying inside this cavern where they begin to find out that there's a bar inside and I know that's where they meet all the locals around which now this is going to lead to a fight it turns out to be a dance fight that was happening <laughs> uh, th this was hilarious just enough to um, grab the map and all and, and they're going to get ready to continue to go on their journey yeah with tails you know running around you know with his tail two tails that turns into a helicopter so it hangs uh, Sonic around just so they can get straight into the mountains. So that way they'll be able to go all the way straight to the location where the Emerald is headed. While Robotnik and Knuckles have teamed together to, to go after Sonic and Tails. They chase them around, sending out all these drones to attack Sonic and Tails. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> so they found them. And it even causes an avalanche. And what's worse, Sonic just lost all the pouches of rings around. Just when he was about to be beat up by Knuckles. And then it just led to that. Just so Sonic now had to contact uh, Tom. 
while they're already in the middle of a wedding to actually escape by going straight into the ring portal all the way to Hawaii which they offered Tom to actually find the ring that's that's hidden somewhere and yeah he accidentally put in in one of the pillows that's supposed to be the ring for both Rachel and Randall and that led to a big disaster because the Guardian Units of Nations gun who was run by the Olive Garden guy Commander Walters <laughs> played by Tom Butler because now we find out that, that the Rando had revealed his secret identity and it got caught Rachel to become very furious that he's ready to beat him up uh, they capture Sonic, Tails, and Tom so now both um, Rachel who's already going after him is about to team up uh, with Maddie to save them and they tend to continue on their quest which Sonic is going to be left alone to go all the way through the temple where he'll be able to find the emerald well Tails has already been knocked unconscious uh, throughout but he woke up and hoping that well let's see what happens so once he got into the temple I'm trying to race all the way through just when Robotnik and, and Knuckles had already came they found the emerald and at that point on it seems like Robotnik had tricked him into grabbing it so now he took it and he became so powerful and that's where it causes a lot of eruption happening in the temple yeah, it just breaks down and now well, Sonic is already drowning this is similar to the video game too as we know where he's trying to grab all these bubbles uh, on his mouth so he can breathe and then also um, Knuckles had somehow drowned as well but he was about to save him but now he was drowning so it turns out that Knuckles did save him out of there as the temple had gone destroyed in the ocean uh, in the beach so yeah at the beach <laughs> So, anyway, now Dr. Robotnik, already at Green Hills, Montana, he already destroyed the gun's forces and created a giant robot resembling himself. Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles had decided to work together because, after all, what, what happened in the past stays in the past, where... You know, he, he got fears about what happened to to a big war that was going on in the jungle where his family had been defeated. I mean, his father was the king and never saw him again and all. And it kind of led to all this. So now, um, with Sonic, along with Tails and Knuckles flying around on a plane, um, they're about to fight the robot to reclaim the Master Emerald that he was controlling. But it shatters and it turns into several Chaos Emeralds. And this is where we lead to the big secret behind this. So now Sonic can destroy the robot as he could. And also destroy and defeat uh, Dr. Robotnik with stone in inside too. Well, he escaped out of there. So now Sonic saved the entire town. Uh, joining in with Tom and Maddie to be together as a family. Of course with um, Knuckles and Tails uh, teaming up too. So now they're finally together. They fix everything that happened during town. And now there's going to be a secret behind what's going on underneath the robot. I'm not going to give that away because we don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it. But everything just gone particularly amazing. So now Tails and Knuckles have joined together with Sonic and Tom and Maddie as they 
head out to the park just to play baseball and all and just have fun. So now they can finally do whatever they want as a family. <laughs> so there you go. And yes, it's definitely the best sequel so far this year and the best movie of this year that it's going to be on my number one just like how I gave uh, the first movie my number one for 2020 and so far it, it um, well it got mixed reviews just like the first movie did but it doesn't deserve that it deserves stronger reviews and it's already grossing over 142 million worldwide and I know it's going to be even much bigger I'm hoping they defeat the new Batman. No, I know I haven't seen it, but I don't want to say anything about that with Robert Patterson. But I'm glad to hear that it's going to continue to go on with the next uh, sequel to, to follow and, and their spinoff and everything. So, keep this up, guys. This is what we've all been waiting for, to do something particularly right with video game adaptations. Anyway, it's fun to see Sonic once again voiced by Ben Schwartz. I mean, he did a great job. There's a lot of pop culture references that you may have heard from other stuff. I mean, yes, aside from bringing out some cell phones and all that, all the usual uh, quotes and stuff. I mean, Sonic is just having fun. He, you know, he eats chili dogs sometimes or, you know, he, he does whatever, he does speed up a lot. Go from all these obstacle courses, speeds up to several places here and there, just like Quicksilver would. <laughs> um, and I also noticed that they they did got um, Benjamin L. Balak to provided the archival voice from the first movie, so it really sums it up for the flashback scenes. Uh, but best of all, I mean, it was great to see Tails for the first time. And having to team up with Sonic was just a pure delight. It was just like the video game, as we expected it to be. And having to see Knuckles, because I know he was introduced uh, in the later video games of the series. It was just a delight to see that uh, with Dr. Robotnik coming back and using him to collaborate so they can go after the Emerald. And uh, perfect voice acting by Iris Elba. I mean, it sounds exactly perfectly fitting right there because I knew exactly what Knuckles is supposed to sound like as we speak. And Tails does sound exactly like a kid, you know, like a, a young five year old kid. But he has all the gadgets that he got in, in this entire world. Like he even used this one gadget where he can translate uh, all the languages here and there. Even though he's going to speak in English. As we know. And he has tons of other gadgets that he got in his backpack. So that's really cool. He's a very smart, intelligent uh, fox. <laughs> yeah. And... Um, it, it really works too because it kind of led to the story about this particular the bio, diabolical plan. And there's a lot of funny moments in the movie too, like the dance battle scene <laughs> in Severia. You know, where <laughs> you get this one bald guy, you know, he just uh, sh <laughs> strip off his shirt and has a tattoo on him, and then he's just doing his dance moves along with his gain and then <laughs> Sonic and Tails were doing their dance moves and and you actually see Tails uh, actually splitting his images around because <laughs> he has uh, the machine where he can do that while they're dancing to the song Uptown Funk <laughs> you know, by uh, Bruno Mars I thought wow that was pretty clever and uh, all, all the funny moments, too, with the, the drone. Yeah, how it keeps, you know, like he tries to get away from it all and then explodes. And, of course, Dr. Robotnik, you know, always throwing in some very clever lines of dialogue that he does. You know, still doing his persona of 
Ace Ventura with the blending in with um, the Riddler from Batman Forever and of course Liar Liar <laughs> and all, all of the jam all the film the comedies that Jim Carrey was doing just hilarious <laughs> and it's also great to see uh, James Marsden reprising his role as Tom I mean he's just excellent as Donut Lord that Sonic refers to and uh, there was a scene where uh, they went volleyball and yeah and suddenly he gets knocked out completely <laughs> because uh, <laughs> um, Rando actually uh, has his entire game so they're a lot stronger than than he is and and his rest of the game <laughs> so no wonder he's been losing um, so I know there's not a, not enough scenes with them along with Maddie, but that's okay. I mean, it, it takes as much as screen time as they could be. Well, I would say the funniest scene also was when <laughs> Rachel was chasing Rando around in a golf club and was ready to shoot the gun too and also shoot the, <laughs> the cake. And then Rando suddenly fell into the icicle statue. Yeah. Because he did got knocked out too. Even if he deserved it. But he was sorry for, for what he caused and all. <laughs> that was very funny. Uh, the story is perfect. Exactly how it should be. They knew what they were doing. They got it right. A lot of incredible special effects all the way through. I mean, of course, with the speeding and of um, Sonic and Tails, you know, moving around with a helicopter through his tail, and all all these other effects uh, with the, the 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 machines and all this other stuff and the gadgets. Same goes with uh, Robotnik's gadgets too, and the robots, everything. Uh, Incredible. Um, the music that's done by uh, Tom Hagenborg uh, is just terrific, and the cinematography by Brendan Trouss is just in amazing. How this was shot. <laughs> now, also, the movie is pretty long too. I mean, it's a lot longer than the first film, so it's hard to believe that it, it really went uh, for a much uh, a much uh, long running pace for the story to go through because I thought man this I thought it was going to be over by the moment we get to the final battle but I'm glad it continued so thank God for that uh, anyway but it's a very fun movie um, especially if you're a huge fan of Sonic this is for you so that's Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and I give the film 5 stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. And of course, um, have some chili dogs to go. <laughs> Bye.